All right, welcome back, everybody. We are here with Fernando Mendoza ahead of Cal's Week Six matchup with Miami in the ACC home opener at California Memorial Stadium. We're going to head to Matt Moreno for the first question. Sorry about that. How's it going, Fernando? Doing good. How, how are you doing? Doing good, outside of not knowing how to work a microphone. But, <laughs> you know, obviously, we, I think last year, right as the ACC thing got announced, I'm pretty sure I brought up this game. Uh, obviously, you've known it means a lot to you. What, is, what, what are your thoughts going into this week? This is an amazing opportunity. Opportunities don't like this don't come often, especially with all the bells and whistles of game day coming, Miami being a top team, a top 10 team in the nation, and this being a great opportunity for the Cow Bears to bounce back and get right on where we want to be on schedule. So this is a great game, and I have personal implications for the game, really, really wanting to succeed and do well against Miami, but the same moment, when you're, as, especially as a quarterback, and you want to do so, so well, and you put all that added unneeded pressure on yourself and that unneeded oh i really want to do so so well that's when you end up not performing as well it's like for example like this is an analogy whenever you're not trying whenever you're trying to keep like an egg safe you always end up cracking it so i'm just keeping it as coach wilcox says is any other week especially with all the bell outside bells and whistles sticking to my normal weekly regimen and how i conduct myself on a weekly operation but this game is an amazing opportunity for the Bears. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Jeff Parada from Cow Bears on SI. Hey, Fernando. I'm wondering, are your, is your family coming out for the game, or do they have to watch on TV a game that's going to get over at about 2 in the morning their time? Luckily enough, my family is making it out to the game, and I'm very, very fortunate for that. This has been a they, – they booked the flights a while back, so – it made it a little cheaper, but still very grateful and thankful for their support flying all the way across the country for this game. Is this game particularly exciting for them as well because of the Miami connection? Yeah, I, I would be lying to you if I said, if I said it, it wasn't. But, so it's definitely exciting for my family, but my family knows that not to over or overwhelm me with all these, you know, oh, we're playing UM this week. It's, it's another team. And it's, although it is a great opportunity for the Bears, you got to keep it and play like it's a normal game. On a different topic, I'm wondering, did you happen to watch Monday Night Football last night? And did you see Jared Goff go 18 for 18 and also catch a touchdown pass? And can you imagine having a game like that someday? That's crazy. It's, as a quarterback, I would say it's extremely tough to – like the term in baseball, throw a perfect game. And so seeing a Kyle alumni, Jared Goff do that was extremely special. I mean, that's just, I'm smiling right now because that, that's crazy. I mean, anybody who's played the position of quarterback to go perfect for 18 throws. And it's not like this guy was just dinking and dunk. I mean, he was making some extremely impressive throws. And that catch, I mean, that, that top two, that, that was a cherry on top. So. Props to him. I mean, he's definitely someone I look up to. So, I mean, it was great seeing him balling out and getting the lines the win. So you did watch the game? Yes, yes. We have a we have a couple Lions fans on the team, such as one of the most prominent ones is Jeffrey Johnson, number 86. So he was talking about it all this morning. And uh, so are you going to now propose that uh, they put that play in where the quarterback gets the toss to the uh, receiver and then comes back and catches the pass? We, funny story, we had a play like that last year that we had Jaden throwing it across the entire field. As you guys know, it was not ran last year. So uh, that, that play is, it, it is not in for us, especially this week. And, and we had the whole bye week to put our insult in. Maybe in the future, that would be really cool. And I'm obviously very confident in my hands, although I don't have the amazing hands that all our receivers do, I, I still think that, you know, a little trickery could work. Thanks, Fernando. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Kevin Dana next. Hey, Fernando, first off, happy birthday. I know it's a big one for you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, Mr. Dana. <laughs> yeah. 
And then uh, secondly, uh, I noticed that three guys on Miami went to Columbus, and if I'm doing the math right, two of them were there while you were there, but Ryan Rodriguez and, and Dalen Russell. Just curious kind of how close you are with those guys and what memories you have playing with them. And uh, I believe one of them you won a state title with if, uh, uh, Ryan Rodriguez, if I got that right. Yeah, so Ryan and Dalen, both went to Columbus with them, and just the Columbus Brotherhood is something that is talked about a lot. It was an, it's an all-boys high school for the people in the West Coast. It's similar to a Bosco school, very sport-dominant. We're extremely great in basketball with we have the Boozer Twins, who are doing great at a national level. We have an amazing football team led by Coach Dave Dunn, and it's a really a camaraderie and a brotherhood, especially at the football level. And so Ryan and I, Ryan was always a year above me, an extreme vocal leader on that team. I don't think he's going to be playing this week, as we talked about. I'm not 100% sure, though, just because, I mean, obviously that didn't give me the inside information because I know he was battling through some, some hiccups there. But, I mean, Ryan's an amazing player. He was a year above me, and, and we won two, well, we like to say one official state title, and then in Florida we had the tri-county because we couldn't, like physically go past the Tri-County because of COVID regulations in Miami. But, and then Dalen played a lot with my little brother, Alberto Mendoza, but I played with him my senior year and he, he's an amazing player as well. He's, he's a great edge and, and I, I mean, he played a lot with, with Alberto and they won, my little brother, and they played, they, they won two state championships together. So they're both great players. Look forward to seeing them after the game and all the other Miami guys on here. There's a lot of locals, so. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to Steve Croner from the SF Chronicle. Good afternoon, Mr. Mendoza. <laughs> good afternoon, Mr. Croner. Good to, good to see you. Uh, you know how important uh, fashion and style is to me, so the first question I have for you is, is the, uh, is the dye completely out of your hair now, or uh, is it still uh, a combination of the natural and, and the dye? Yeah, so people always ask, like, I guess I've always seen like little questions of on YouTube videos or what it's like, what's your, I don't want to say biggest regret and something that I didn't realize of how hard hair dye was and how hard it is to get out. So there's been, this is probably my fourth round of, or third round of trying to dye the hair. So this is actually dye, trying to get it back to its original state. It, it, I think it looks fairly similar. Some of my friends, I mean, who knows? Maybe they're trying to make me feel good on my birthday. But uh, <laughs> I think it's a little darker than usual. Who, At this point, I just know that never in my life will I dye my hair again. And next fall camp, when people start bringing up the ideas of, hey, let's dye our hair. I'm like, you know what, guys? Let's, let's wear a sports jersey. Let's all wear Warriors jerseys or Niners jerseys. Or, you know, maybe do a little bit more of a hair-friendly team, team bonding thing. So... I see, I see your birthday has made you a lot wiser. Nice going. Uh, <laughs> a a semi-serious question, a serious yeah. question. Obviously, the, the biggest thing that has hurt your offense, I think, this season, the pre-snap penalties. Yeah. Now, maybe you're, you even have had some in memoriam. Obviously, it's been, it's been more acute on the road, but you've had a few even at home games. How are you guys going to uh, – you're not necessarily going to completely erase that, but how, how do you minimize that? Like you said, that, that's been our biggest issue as an offense is shooting ourselves in the foot. Even when we start, whenever we have a slow start, it's very self-inflicted. Every slow start that we've had, whether it's been UC Davis, San Diego State, or even a little Florida State, those have all been our, our fault. As far as pre-snap penalties, post-snap penalties, and just the, the list goes on. So it's been big emphasis on execution and holding each other to an accountable standard in which we're not so tense that, oh, we don't want, we don't want to be the one to make the mistake, but play, play free. Like, hey, there's going to be a penalty at some point in the game. It's, it's inevitable. And obviously we want to pray and hope that never happens, but to be able to play free and football at a high level, it's going to happen. Let's minimize our mental errors. Let's be keen. Let's be focused. And so the two stands that we have played at away, I would say are both top 10 in hostility being Jordan Hare and Doe Campbell. And those are names that, stadiums that I knew with even playing them or not, because they're just so well-renowned for their fan base and their hostility. So I would say that 
we're trying to minimize them and this week we've done a lot of mix up. So if we have a rack of eight plays, we'll randomize the silent and the clap in order to, minim to minimize those penalties. Good luck and happy birthday. Thank you. We'll go to Cody Henderson from the league winners. Hey, Fernando. Um, past two games, you know, you've been hit quite a bit, taken, you know, quite a few sacks. Kind of seems like the bye came at the right time. Um, but just wanted to check in, see how you're feeling physically, mentally, um, for this Saturday night game against Miami. Miami's a very physical team, similar to the last two teams we played. And honestly, every team we've played has been pretty physical. So, got to look at it one play at a time. If if the sack is the right play there, and, you know, I don't want to be making these miracle plays. I mean, shout, I was watching the Virginia Tech film. I mean, shout out to the Drones, the Virginia Tech quarterback. He was making some crazy plays when he was getting sacked, like flipping the ball and stuff like that. But for myself, if if getting sacked is the right play or, you know, throwing it away or living to the next play is the right play, I'm going to make it for the team. And my, my body's feeling great. My mind is, mindset's feeling great, especially with the bye week and, every, and all the momentum that we have carrying into this game. So the entire offense is very excited. The team's very excited. And I'm very excited as an individual on a physical state and mental state. So I have the utmost confidence. And I feel like we're in a really good position now health-wise as a team. Thanks, Fernando. Happy birthday. Thank you. We'll circle back to Jeff Verrato. Hey, Fernando, staying on the sacks for a minute. Um, I'm glad you're, you're upright and moving around well, but 13 sacks in two games, not going to help the offense either. What do you guys need to do better to avoid that? You're playing against a team that pressures the quarterback pretty effectively. Miami's an extremely effective team in pressuring the quarterback. They get to the ball carrier very efficiently. They have great linebackers, an amazing front seven all around. And that's something that we're gonna to need to minimize. I believe that's getting the ball out quicker, maybe, and, and some other things. So getting the ball out quicker, you know, mi minimizing maybe the longer develop, developing plays. I, I mean, I'm not too sure. I mean, every, we, we, we need, I think every team needs an array of plays. We have, we have, we always want to call shots and all these other different types of plays. So I think it's on me to get the ball out a little quicker. Yeah, I was wondering, all of it's not on the O line, obviously. No. How much of it? How much responsibility do you take for some of the sacks? I I, I would say I would take a lot of responsibility for a lot of the sacks. I can't give you a percentage on the top of my head, <laughs> but I, I I would say that. A lot of the sacks are avoidable with throwing the ball away or getting the ball out a little quicker. So that's something definitely I'm trying to work on. And what are you going to do to celebrate your birthday? Not not sure yet. Called my mom, my my dad, my family. So that that's been all good, and and we'll see. Preparing for Miami and preparing for this game and having a great game on Saturday. That'll be the best birthday present. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll do one last question from Matt Moreno. So we were talking to Cade, and he was talking about the attention that you guys are going to get as a program, as a school, with this weekend and ESPN College Game Day being in town, and the significance of that of that spotlight. You know, what does it mean to you to have this attention on your school and, and this program? It's great. It's a blessing to see Cal get recognized on, on a national stage. And as I said before, it's an amazing, it's an amazing opportunity to play these guys, top ten team, night game, game day. There's, there's a ton of variables. However, whether the game day set is rocking with all the Berkeley fans and Cal fans, which, which I know it will, and whether the stadium sold out, whether you know, a ton of UM fans travel, or, or who knows. But regardless, the team knows that it's 11 on 11 football. So we're very excited to get to play football and execute at a high level. Thanks, Brandon. Have a birthday. Thank you.